Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as much as I love bringing you guys flight attendant content, travel content, and showing you my life as a flight attendant, I am also extremely fond of hauls and I love watching them, I love filming them, and that's exactly what I am bringing you today. So over the last few days, I was kind of looking at my wardrobe again, thinking a new season's come, I need a few extra items just to make my wardrobe a bit more versatile. So I went on to Pretty Little Thing, which I don't regularly shop on. This time I found so many good items that I wanted to buy and <laughs> my basket was extremely full. So I filtered through everything, decided what I liked, what I necessarily needed more than wanted. So I now have a giant bag full of pretty little thing items to show you and I'm so excited to show you what I've got. I've not actually opened it myself yet. I thought I'm gonna wait till I'm in front of the camera and show you my honest thoughts and opinions of everything I've got. So I will let you know all of the details of every single item I purchased. I will let you know the prices. I'll pop everything in the description box below so you can go and have a look for yourselves. I know at the moment PLT have got a massive sale on the website from transitioning from season to season. I think it's up to 60% off pretty much every item on their website so now is a fantastic time to go and visit PLT. This is also going to be a try on haul as well so you can see exactly what they look like on me and my honest opinions. So without further ado let's get started. Oh it's jam packed this bag. <laughs> let's have a look shall we. So the main reason I actually started looking through PLT is because I noticed, especially this current lockdown where it's been a bit colder, that I don't actually own that much lounging around the house stuff. So I have heard so many people rave about PLT's loungewear and that was kind of the main reason I actually went to PLT in the first place. I looked at Misguided, I looked at Nasty Girl, but PLT's loungewear just drew me in a bit more. And plus I've heard so many people say it's such good value for money and super comfy. So I picked up a few things on the website that I really liked. I really hope fit me because sizing and loungewear, I like things to be oversized, but if I go for oversized, it can sometimes look too oversized. So the first two items I have are jumpers. They are oversized jumpers and I think they're literally called ultimate oversized sweaters. And I got two colors, I got red and I got white. I did want to get black, but they didn't have it in my size. And I did go for a large in both of these. So yeah, I really hope they fit. I'm a bit concerned that they're not going to, but we'll see. So first up, we've got the red jumper. I really like the shade of red. I think red is, is one of my favorite colors actually. And I own a red jumper, but it's very thin and I wanted a thicker one, especially for my more recent trips where I've been going to Washington and Boston and it's extremely cold over there at the minute and I needed nothing more than an oversized jumper at the time. So I wanted to get a few for the purpose of those trips as well as lounging around at home. So yeah, I really think actually this is a decent size. It's not too long, that was the problem. It's not looking too oversized, it's the length. <laughs> Sometimes I've worn jumpers that are oversized that have gone past my knee and I just look ridiculous. Whereas this one, I actually think is a decent length and size actually. Just feeling the inside is actually really soft on the inside, which is amazing. And it's actually, quite nice and thick as well, which is exactly what I wanted. I know spring is the kind of time where people start buying clothes for the warmer seasons, whereas for me in spring, I am always cold. <laughs> until summer, until June comes round, I am always cold. So I'm gonna be getting so much use out of both of these jumpers up until probably April, May, June. And I think these jumpers are also quite nice to throw on in the evening in the summer when it does start to get a bit colder in the evenings. Let's have a look at the white one. This one's almost slightly softer, I think, than the red one. I don't know whether that's because they might have dyed the material and that may have, may have made it a bit of a crisper material. But this one is super soft. Same sort of size as the red as well. I don't think you can go wrong with having a white jumper. Yeah, exactly the same size as the red, but just as soft, if not even more soft. So 
yeah super happy about that and i cannot wait to lounge around in those and get so much use out of those all year round so to go along with the jumpers as i mentioned i don't own any joggers i think i've mentioned this in a few videos in a row now but i just don't own any joggers i don't know why i've just never bought them and if i have them i just use them as pajamas so they've gone the best way i can describe it and this sounds really weird but almost bitty you know when you wash them a few times and they just start getting like clumps of fabric on top of it so it just looks a bit rubbish um so yeah i don't actually own any joggers that i can wear in and actually out the house as well so i got a bit of a risky color i got white <laughs> which I'm super clumsy. I don't know why I got white. Even in the jumper, I don't really know why I got white because I'm always spilling stuff down myself. I'm always spilling drinks, food. So I need to make sure I'm not eating <laughs> in these two items. Or if I am, I'm wearing a bib. So yeah, anyway, never mind. Um, I just really like the color white. And I think, as I said, you can't go wrong with white. So, well, you probably can <laughs> considering what I just said. So yeah, let's open these up and see how they feel. So again, the thing I'm worried about here is that they're gonna be too big on me and they're just gonna look too saggy and horrible. So I really hope they fit. I will obviously do a try on for you to show you if they do or not. But I think even if I just use them for lounging around the house, I don't think it really matters if they're too big, but sometimes you just wanna pop to the shop in your joggers, don't you? Pop some trainers on. They're not as soft as I thought they were going to be. Like they're not a soft material on the inside, for instance, like the white jumper, but they are quite thin. So I feel like looking into the sunlight with these, they might be a little bit see-through, so I'll have to be careful what underwear I put under these if I am choosing to go out in them. But yeah, they are a nice baggy material. They just look really quite wide-legged, so I really hope they fit. So that's everything I got loungewear side of my haul. Now moving on to some of the items that I probably picked up with in mind knowing that hopefully things are gonna be going back to normal in the summer, let's hope. Um, let's just face it, I probably didn't need them, I just wanted them, but I picked up everything here knowing that they're gonna be quite versatile with other things I have in my wardrobe, so yeah, I will show you what I got for spring, summer, even autumn actually. There's a few things that I could probably wear during, in fact, all year round. There's quite a few things here that I would probably wear all year round. So another aim I actually had for this haul was that I wanted to get a few more lower half of my body items. Does that even make any sense? I'm so bad at describing things, I'm so sorry. But basically what I mean is I wanted to get a few more trousers and leggings for my wardrobe. As I said, I literally just have jeans and flared trousers at the moment. So I feel like you can't really do much with just jeans and flared trousers. So I picked up yet another pair of flared trousers, but not the same as what I already have in my wardrobe. So these ones are just plain black and they are, I wanna say three quarter length flares. So this kind of trouser is perfect and I mean, perfect for spring summer and even like that stage where you're transitioning from summer to autumn like september october time where it's still a little bit warm but starting to get colder and i've wanted to get some of these for ages but i've never found the right style and when i found these on the website i looked at them and i thought i need them so yeah they're a it's all typical cheapy material if that makes any sense that a lot of online retailers make their clothes from it's almost like not a ribbed material, but it's a textured material. Um, but the thing I like about this material is they're not see-through, which is so, so important when it comes to trousers for me. I've had so many instances where I've bought trousers and they are see-through. And the way I found out is by Vic telling me <laughs> that my trousers are see-through, which is not ideal. So they're also high-waisted as well. Um, I've got a bit of a thing. It's a bit of a, a self-esteem problem wearing crop tops. I try and wear more crop tops because I love crop tops so much. But I've got such a thing about my belly. I'm really self-conscious about my belly showing. So high-waisted trousers are almost a must for me. I really like these off me. So I really hope I like them on. So I've got two more pairs of trousers that I picked up. So the first pair of trousers I got are these brown dog tooth. They're like, yeah, 
black, brown, cream and mustard yellow, which I really like a dog tooth pattern. I know it's not for everyone, but I actually really like it and I think it's really nice for spring and autumn as well. I think dog tooth and this kind of colour in the autumn is so nice and I don't really own that many sort of brown, cream, ivory kind of items in my wardrobe and I really want to start introducing more so I'm really happy with these. They look really nice off me again. They are quite thin but I'm really hoping the actual dog tooth pattern means they aren't a see-through so we will see about that. But yeah, they're really nice and stretchy as well. High-waisted. So yeah, I'm excited to try those on. And the final pair of trousers, and I've wanted to get this style for so long, you don't even realize. And that is leather trousers. I just think leather trousers, you can style in so many ways. You can make them casual, you can dress them up, you can just wear them around the house. So, I'm really excited that I got a pair of these and for a really good price as well. So as you can see, there is a subtle crock print on them, which is really nice, I think. And they are high-waisted again, which is perfect for my insecurities. They do feel a little bit cheap, so I think if you're gonna get these, go careful when you wash them and just pay attention to the label and do exactly what it says. But yeah, I think it, these are one of those I'm gonna have to try them on to see whether I fully like them on me because as much as I love these and I've wanted to get them for so long I just I don't know whether it's going to suit me a hundred percent um it's probably going to massively depend on what I style it with so I think I'm just gonna have to have faith and just keep them as long as they fit but yeah we'll see I will try them on and I'll give you my final verdict because I'm a bit 50 50 at the moment I think with them out of the packaging so two more items left in this haul so one thing I absolutely love and I don't do enough of is pairing short strappy dresses with t-shirts underneath whether that's long sleeve or short sleeve tops underneath I just absolutely love it I just think it's so cute and you can really adapt it to the type of weather it is outside I wanted to get more dresses that I could do this with so I picked up this polka dot dress it's really nice and flowy. It's a lush material. I really like it. And for me, it doesn't really matter if it's see-through, which I don't actually think this one is, which is perfect. But I just think this would be super cute paired with a white short sleeve top underneath or any color top for that matter. I think just black and white you can pair with any color. And I just love polka dots. I just think it's super cute, especially for spring. And it's just even nice because you can wear this kind of thing just on its own in the summer even. Or even this is a nice dress to wear down to the pool with just to pop my bikini and even just pop this on top. So yeah, I think this kind of item of clothing is so versatile and I really like it. So last but certainly not least, um, this is a kind of item that I was very uncertain whether to get. So this has been a very popular style of clothing for, I wanna say the last six months. And I always really liked it, but I didn't think it would suit me. So I have a vision. I have a vision, you have to stick with me here. I'm gonna try and pair them when I do my try on. So it's this long line sleeveless jumper with a high neck, you cannot go wrong with a high neck. But for me, I was like, am I just gonna look stupid in this kind of thing? Some people pull it off so well, and I'm really not into the kind of tops that people pair it with. So it's like that tailored kind of top and I really don't like that kind of thing. So I think I'm just gonna be pairing this with just like a long sleeve top or a thin jumper underneath. But yeah, we will see if this suits me. Again, this is another item that I'm gonna have to put on and make my judgment when I'm wearing it because I do love it now it's out of the packaging and I wanted it to be quite long on me, not too long, but quite long on me and a bit baggier, which I think it is going to be. So we shall see. So that's my verdict on everything off me. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a try on haul to see what my verdict is of everything on. And I really hope my vision falls into place for some of these items as I don't wanna send them back because I love everything. I just really hope everything suits me. That's my problem. So let's try them on and see what I think. Right, so now I've tried everything on, I will give you my overall verdict. So starting off with the two jumpers, so the white and the red jumper, 
I really like them. They fit me nicely. They are oversized, definitely, but not too oversized. Like I mentioned, I didn't want them to be too oversized, so I'm really glad that I picked up the large, actually, in both of those. I prefer the white over the red. As I said, it's really soft. So I think I'll be wearing that more than the red, but red, I absolutely love wearing red. So yeah, I am really pleased with both of those. So the only thing I will say is the red jumper is ever so slightly bigger than the white. I don't know why, it's exactly the same size, but it's not a problem. Um, I'm not gonna be massively fussed by that. So yeah, I'm really happy with both of the jumpers. I will be keeping both of those. So let's move on to the brown turtleneck sleeveless jumper. So I really like it actually, and I think it's actually gonna go really nice with both the dog tooth leggings that I tried on with it, as well as I think it will go nice with jeans. White jeans would be really nice with it, and um, blue jeans would be nice. I just think I can style it in many different ways. I didn't show you it with anything underneath it, but I actually think it looked actually okay with nothing underneath it, but I would like to wear something underneath it just because I feel that my side boobs are a little bit exposed, which we don't want, so. But yeah, I really am happy with it. I'm going to be keeping that jumper. I'm really surprised of how thick it is as well. It is a really nice, soft, knitted material, and the turtleneck is really quite chunky, which I really like for a turtleneck, so. So I'm super happy with that, and I will definitely be keeping the brown jumper. So moving on to the dog tooth leggings that I tried on with the brown jumper. So I am super impressed with them. They are really comfy to wear. The one thing I was a bit nervous about, which I find with a lot of leggings, is that they fit me around the waist because I have to get a size 10 for my waist and my hips. However, for my legs, sometimes they don't fit and they look a little bit baggy. However, with these ones, they actually don't do that. They fit me really well. Um, the only criticism, I guess, is that because of their pattern, I can't wear it with everything that I have in my wardrobe but I can definitely make it work and I just like that it's a different style of pattern to what I'm used to wearing. So yeah, I will be keeping those as well. So moving on to the polka dot dress. So I knew I was gonna like this one. It was just the case of whether it was gonna fit me. Again, I have the problem with, because my upper half of my body is really quite slender, my hips are a problem for me. Um, a lot of dresses that I buy, they tend to just like stick to my waist and ride up, which is not comfortable, nor is it cute. So this one is actually really nicely fitting for me. It's really nice because it actually widens at the waist, so I don't have the problem of it sticking to my hips. So yeah, I really like that. Love the material, it's super soft, nice and thick. It's not see-through, which I'm really happy about. And yeah, I just cannot wait to start wearing that as soon as it starts getting a little bit warmer outside. So moving on to some of the items that I'm a little bit unsure about. The leather croc leggings. I'm actually quite upset that they didn't fit me as well as I wanted them to. So you'll see in the footage that they fit me really well around my waist. However, my lower legs and also my hips area, so the, the waistline is really baggy and they actually move around a lot when I am walking, so they don't stay in place. So I have to keep pulling them up and adjusting them, and that's not ideal. So I think I'm gonna have to send them back and go for a size smaller, which I'm really hoping that they have a size smaller. So I'm really gutted about that, but it's an issue that can be easily solved. I just, I could keep them and I could adjust them myself, but I know it's just gonna irritate me that they don't sit properly. So yeah, I'm gonna be exchanging these hopefully for a size smaller. And hopefully one day I will be owning these leggings and they will look really super cute on me. The three quarter length flares. I love them. I think they're so nice. When I was putting them on, I thought these would be so nice if I had to like dress them up, but also so comfy if I had to wear them dressed down as well. So a very versatile item. However, again, it seems to be the waistline. I don't know what it is about it. The thing I'm happy about is that they are super stretchy. So I feel like if I go a size down, they would fit me perfectly. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exchange them for a size eight and see if that is any better. Because the flare is actually quite wide as well, which is, is nice, I like that. So I'm really happy with the item. I just need to sort out the sizing and then it will be perfect. So the final item, which 
you will see very clearly from the footage is the white joggers. So this is actually the one item that I needed and of course it doesn't fit me. They just, the ankles are really wide so they just flop around, if that makes any sense. They literally just flop around and end up going underneath my feet so I end up trodding on them so they're gonna get really dirty being white. And also the hips as well, it's just, they're too big. So I think I just need to get a size down, maybe even two sizes down for them to fit me really well. They are a little bit see-through and I feel like you can kind of see that on the footage as well, um, which I thought they would be when I first looked at them. However, I'm just gonna be wearing them indoors and I don't know whether to exchange the color as well. I'm gonna exchange these and just see how they look. So overall, I feel like it was a semi-successful haul. So yeah, I really enjoyed that video actually. It was something a little bit different. Um, the way I planned it out was a little bit different to the usual hauls I do. Normally I kind of take a stinky peek beforehand, but today it was completely going into it blind, not knowing what the items were gonna look like. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed filming today and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I will leave in the description box links to all of the items I picked up today. And also let me know in the comments, what was your favorite item that I picked up on this haul? So don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my channel as it means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in a video very soon.